On the topic of national defense now, the U.S. government has revealed that it wants to deploy the THAAD missile defense system to South Korea as soon as possible. Also, Washington is working with its allies to cut North Korea off from income it could use for its nuclear weapons development. Our Connie Kim tells us more. A senior U.S. official says Washington plans to deploy the THAAD missile defense system to South Korea as soon as possible. Speaking at a congressional hearing on Tuesday, U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for East Asia and Pacific Affairs Daniel Russell said it was crucial to upgrade defensive systems given the pace of North Korea's missile tests. Russell said he could not pinpoint the exact timing, but said the South Korean government will be able to reveal the timetable once it's finalized. Seoul and Washington have planned to deploy FAT to the south by next year, but some have suggested the deployment be sped up as North Korea seems ready to deploy nuclear weapons at any time. Given China's deep objections to the deployment, Russell again emphasized that that is purely defensive and aimed at deterring North Korea's threats and protecting South Korea. In a written statement also released Tuesday, Russell said Washington is working closely with Seoul and Tokyo on cutting off North Korea's sources of income for its nuclear weapons development. He said these efforts will take various forms, including cutting off revenue generated through the North's coal trade and blocking income from North Korean workers overseas. North Korea's coal exports take up nearly half of the regime's total export volume, and some 50,000 North Koreans are believed to have been sent abroad to earn foreign currency for the regime. Connie Kim, Arirang News.